It's like a, mm -hmm. oh, she's pretty for that dark skin girl yeah. or like, you know what I'm saying? Like a, oh, dark skin. Yeah, we think you guys are all beautiful queens, but just never date you or try to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? We go for the lighter skin types. Like, a, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, I just believe that, I don't know. I just feel like it's fair to both. I feel like it's fair for a, fee, a, a woman to talk to somebody that's giving her the attention and that loves her just as much as she loves herself and makes her feel good too as well and not feel like oh i'm betraying my family because i fell in love with a you know what i'm saying uh a uh, asian man you know what i'm saying i feel like i shouldn't be kicked out or the black sheep sheep of my family because i chose to do a different route than what is supposed to be of me because i just, you know what i'm saying just i don't i don't believe in it i think that's just not but, and also I feel like it's not realistic but also it's a little bit ignorant mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. I don't know who believes in soulmates or if anybody does but I feel like if you limit your your dating pool to yep. only and if you <coughs> never leave America only 13% of the entire United States is black mm -hmm. how much of that percentage is in the little town that you never leave exactly. you know what I'm saying? and within that 13% they're not even interested in me, so I'm just supposed to be lonely. 
I just feel like a lot if like we have to I feel like black women we have to stay in our race but then of course there are black men who also believe that but a lot of it's like if you ask men they're like you should date whoever but a lot of if you ask black women they'd be like oh yeah I just can't I have yeah. to I have to date black people and certain some men they do it for certain things like sexual things like they you know have you ever heard when people be like you know white girls get more better than that Becky. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And like <laughs> black girls have too many expectations and stuff. Yeah. I've heard that a lot. But like, men, we heard to get to have stuff. too many rules and stuff, but yeah. we have standards. But is, right. Exactly. Some white girls, they just be going for whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna get that. You know what I'm saying? And not even limited just to white, just up yeah. Yeah, I, I feel know. like it's just easier to say white. Yeah, I'm just saying like, like you know, for the people the little, the three people that might have a little attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like Dang, what you was gonna say something? Go ahead, cause I got cut off. But sometimes they be like saying they like black girls to like get like followers and stuff. You see those like TikTok boys, mm -hmm. absolutely. And they be like, oh, I like None black girls, and then they and then they followers all white girls, and you like, okay, where okay. where is the flavor? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I feel like a lot of people just be scared to kind of take that step outside because of how society makes it seem like it's a like I said like a betrayal to your culture, and I feel like. I just and then it goes back again with you know the stereotypes of, of you know, not is the stereotypes are hypocritical with a female versus a male because males can mm -hmm. males can literally only be with somebody because of looks you know I just want a trophy wife but a female who's like I just want somebody to take care of me is considered a gold digger mm -hmm. a hoe all these Absolutely. things and so it's like a it's just like you got all these standards on the something you got all these like uh, what is it called. You just double standards. You all got all these double standards about everything, and then you got, you know, women like us, let's say, around other young women who we set an example for, and if we limit and they, they horizon like, oh, only a black boy. You didn't talk to none of the black boys in school? Mm -hmm. And then you got the white boys in school who their family isn't teaching them to be open, so you got them kind of, you know, it can really... It can, I feel like all this plays like a slippery slope to down to somebody's confidence. Cause like growing up in school in white schools when the white boys wouldn't talk to me, the black boys wouldn't talk to me either. You in school like, all right now, nah, must be, something, something so must wrong. be wrong. Exactly. And so, <laughs> it gotta be, it gotta be, it gotta be. Like, nobody's talking to me, you know, you go out in public, it's like a, or, um, your certain friends like always going for the okay she got hazel eyes she's just the most beautiful nice black girl ever seen light skin hair, curly hair yeah like a but short we got the same thing you know how's her personality short. like her hair not even curly it's wavy yes and she got <laughs> perm <laughs> right. 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 you know right. everybody right. perms do different things <laughs> you know some people perms make them straight the other perms can make them curly you know it's just I just feel like I just feel like for women it should I don't consider it a betrayal to your culture. I don't consider it like a something that's like a revenge thing, like oh I'm just only gonna date white men because black men have hurt me. I feel like yo preference sometimes it do be like that. Yeah, I just feel like your preference should just be open. I just feel like you probably just gotta sit with yourself and kinda make your own standards and like what you believe in, know your self worth and then like I said, be open. A lot of people are like, Oh, my husband gotta be the most finest. I want people to look at my man and be like Mm, yeah, it actually be the good. ones that you don't want to, that be like, all right, not the most attractive, but be the good ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, yeah. and there's always those things, because the real, real yeah. five ones, you they can just play you. Yeah. Oh, they just be playing you. And that is, that, I, I kind of believe that too, like, the it'd be the real, the more, the, to know they're attractive. the high, yeah. 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 When you know you're attractive, that kind of like, you know, I it doesn't think I'm being confident, but at the same time, like, don't it's, be. It's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Yeah, mm -hmm. and like too cocky. you can be the most mm -hmm. cutest, nice looking thing. You know what I'm saying? Body on, you know what I'm saying? Looking too nice well. and personality, personality on trash. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's like a that's probably why you're only attracting, you know who. You're ah! <laughs> what happened? I just burnt myself. <laughs> but that's probably why you're only attracting what you're attracting. You know what I'm saying? I feel like. I just feel like people should start looking at like personalities and stop having these, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Stop caring about what other people gonna think, how they gonna see, like, you know, I just mm -hmm. feel like I just feel like you just gotta you gotta be true to yourself and you gotta be open and try different things, you know? Go to that poetry slam besides going to that club. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? 
like love is blind like that's a perfect example like mm -hmm. they all couldn't see each other it was all mm -hmm. based off of like talking and personality exactly. and i'm gonna use lauren and uh cameron, cameron. as an example yeah. like she was like a, she never really dated outside of her race and stuff mm -hmm. and kind of her family was like a little iffy about it but I don't know, it's just like she learned his personality first because she 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 said to herself, like if she did, if she saw him, she'd think he'd attract but she wouldn't really go for it because mm -hmm. he wasn't a black man. Mm -hmm. So I think that was a good example, like the whole person. That's why I think some, if you go on the, the right dating app with the right intentions, you can actually get to know somebody first through text or mm -hmm. wherever mm -hmm. and then do like the whole, you yeah, know. I can see why a lot of people kind of get, um, not to change something like kind of catfish mm -hmm. or like fall in love with people over you know over mm -hmm. emails and yeah. stuff because y'all have no choice but to kind of get to know the other person versus um appearance and physical you know you know physical features you get to really like have a conversation with that person and um have any of y'all been guilty of like kind of having the mindset to only date black people yeah no really i love yeah, I have. all races I have, I have, like, I, I love all races. Not, well, I'm, 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 I'm open. I'm I, I, th I think the best way to, to, like, explain what it is for me is, like, I'm, oh, I, like, I'm open to dating anybody because it's, like, I would like you for the person you mm -hmm. are, but I just mm -hmm. feel like society has, like, oh, mm -hmm. black love, you know? Yeah, black love yeah. type stuff. And then like, even if, like, even if I would, I would date, or I would date anybody of any race, but, like, just, like, if you look on, like, TV, I'm seeing interracial relationships, like, everyone, and I'm, like, ain't no problem to, like, Anybody else in love? You know what I'm saying? It'd be nice to see, you know. And then it's always, it's always white and black. It's never white and Asian. Right. Or black, white. Mm -hmm. It's just always black and white. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, um, I feel like for me, I feel like I had the mindset, like, a, I, like I would be attracted to other races, but let's say if I had two people who I was equally attracted to, I mm -hmm. would I would talk myself out of talking to somebody outside of my race because I was thinking like, well, what if they, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be like, I'd be like, what if their grandparents races and we have kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nah, just like, you know, but that's not, that's literally not everybody's story. That, you know, but that closes yeah. my mind off to certain people. Like, I'd be like, I literally just be like. Oh, I've been thinking about yeah. they're not gonna understand. I'm yes, like, like you've been thinking about the movies, like about honestly. And I'm a huge, I'm a huge. Ooh, love I'm about a romantic out. movie. <laughs> <laughs> I love romantic so, movies. Yeah. Like I'm a, I'm a fanatic of <laughs> that. And that's kind of what I look at. And I kind of like rom coms when we was playing that game. You couldn't pick any. Okay, no, yeah, that's not the topic today. Ooh, okay. we're just off the topic of our <laughs> no, topic. But I'm saying, like, I love romance movies, and the main romance movies I'm guilty of watching, they're mostly white people. And it's kind of no, like, huh? There are no black rom coms like that. Yeah, it's, it's just sure. romantic movies in general. But it's just like, me, myself, I kind of like think of, you know, I want a relationship like that when it's mainly, you know, the white movies or whatever. And it's kind of like, they have different. Y'all see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I watch movies. Their stories like, are different. Yeah, yeah, their stories are different. The way that these stories are set up, if it's like a black person or if it's a black love, it's like somebody had to cheat. Somebody mm -hmm. had to get off drugs. Somebody was a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. Somebody, like the church girl and the thug or like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Or like, I, it was unrequited, like love and basketball. Yeah, or yeah, like your daddy got so much money and you're the spoiled girl and yeah. you are so destined to have a ghetto wife. Right. You, just, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, or ATV. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. Like, we both come from a nice family yeah, and we just it's always but, a struggle story, like with the white rom com. It's always just like a they was both looking fine. Oh, lives. just in love, or like, or, yeah, or just like in I, love. I just can't figure out if I'm gonna go to college or travel the world. The yeah. real problems that we really be having, like every everybody ain't on drugs. Everybody mm -hmm. ain't. Yeah, it's just it can be more yeah. relatable. Everybody, everybody ain't used to be a prostitute. Everybody ain't used to be <laughs> a <laughs> Yeah, everybody yeah. didn't. Everybody didn't go the route of you know stripping to become to to go get through school. Yeah. No, that's not everybody's story. You that's know? why I like the photograph. It ain't had no drama, but it was just mm -hmm. love. Yeah, it was yeah. love. He didn't. She he didn't do nothing. And, he was, okay. and my thing is with black men they think uh, a decent amount of them think they have to have that type of background that type of story like i was a thug you know i changed my girl but some of them think they be having to have that type of story but you don't gotta be no thug you don't gotta be no I, 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 I don't want to take it too deep or nothing but i was just watching um this video and it was about like um it was a hundred men who were in jail and a hundred men who weren't in jail but all from the same neighborhood and it was like 
um, everybody's vying for respect, mm -hmm. and that, that's like the common thing, like why violence is, in, but respect, because it's like, if I'm 16, how am I going to get respect? Mm. That's probably what the, that shit is. Yeah. yeah, they'd be like, oh, I gotta fight somebody or I gotta do something like that to earn my respect type shit. And stuff. it don't even have to be like a, does it be middle class people, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I know, I know a few people like that, like, that'd be the sweetest, I know one particular person that is the sweetest person ever, but then be acting like they wanna be out here on the streets trying to, how to struggle so society. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, and society, that's like, society. makes you think, oh, I gotta be like this. Like, you be seeing the, um, like, for example, like women, like when they be get with a black girl, they think they gotta, you know, be all do rag and all that. Yeah. You know, yeah. 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 Versus you know, just being themselves. Be black. I just feel like, go ahead. I feel like, like, if you're in love with somebody, you shouldn't have to change yourself type mm -hmm. stuff. Like, you don't have to change yourself. Just be yourself, and then we should be happy mm -hmm. together. It don't matter, like, our background or anything. It's just us two in the mm -hmm. relationship, yeah. so we should be happy. Because I definitely would love to deal with, um, like a like somebody talk about something like oh yeah my parents are trying to give me like I'm not well yeah I might be rich but <laughs> I'm trying to give like an example like because I, I was gonna say like you know like you got the people that's you know white they be a little friendly with the animals mm -hmm. then somebody cheating on me I'd rather have us a, a conversation about animals well, then let your dog lick me you know what I'm saying but yeah, I rather, yeah. I'd rather have a conversation like then to mm -hmm. deal with the whole, oh, I got to use talking to Keisha. Yeah. Like the trials and tribulations of our relationship with and a lot of people and think, I know we, we way off topic, but a lot of people, like, people think like, oh, cheating is a natural part of a relationship. Ooh, no, it's not. That, that should never be like, in a really relationship. That. Uh, I was, like, I've never heard that is the most like, ridiculous thing ever. Like it's a couple and, um, I'm, I'm, I don't care. Kevin mm -hmm. Hart and his wife, like, as many times as he's cheated on her, and, and the, you know they got he got a show on Netflix or whatever. And she like third time is a strike, but that mean I get two free passes. Brain, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you kind of like two free passes that you find out about. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. That's, 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 that's kind of allowing it. We're not. I thought like you know. That mm -hmm. is. That's what is no. Oh, you gonna cheat on topic. Let's, let's um, bring it back. But I feel like that if it. you tie all that back into like it plays a part. It plays a big part onto. Onto why 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 being open is not should not be like shunned upon. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like because my thing is if we we four different people from the I get well the same background but like mm -hmm. different backgrounds. You know what I'm saying? Different age groups and stuff. You know what I'm saying? With blood, Mindsets. but huh? Mindsets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we you know what I'm saying? But we all can we all have met various amounts of people the same way who think the same way and so you got people that trying to start from the bottom to the top they trying they think cheating is okay because they see everybody else cheating mm -hmm. then then that's what the you know what i'm saying half the people they they watch in the shade room you know what i'm saying but there's mm -hmm. other there's a whole different world out there of different races that share the same amount of love you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but i think also you should when dating outside of your race you should also be a little aware of fetishes Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like I know a big one, like well, black women for instance are fetishized, have been for forever. But black men, like a lot, I know it's like we've been going, it's been going on for a long mm -hmm. time. But like it's like more prevalent recently. Mm -hmm. Like all those white girls, like oh, I like my men chocolate, like dark skin. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and I have a question about that. So I know we're not trying to limit it just to white women, but what about like what do y'all think about? Latinas or maybe Asians or whatever that's like I love me like a dark chocolate because you know some people I mean they're yeah. beautiful you, you can't take away that they're beautiful mm -hmm. but it's just I it's feel like it's, it, it doesn't matter yeah. what race is coming from if it's a, if you're or you're that's like you can't if you can't just pick one thing you know what I'm saying and that's where that colorism stuff comes in mm -hmm. but for white women it's the reverse where they prefer the dark mm -hmm. but if you would, some black women prefer light skin. Some yeah. black men. Like, I love sure. black men, but I want my man. Like, even a white thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. even a white man or who date black girls is light skin. Mm -hmm. See, I have another question. I personally like men of darker color tones. Do y'all? I, I don't consider it finished because I like all black but would men. You, but that's, that's where it's different. Okay. I just have to make sure. But I, I love me any kind of color, any type of shade, mm -hmm. any kind of coffee, tea, green tea, orange. Yeah, I love, I like, I love vibes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not gonna lie and say like, I 
when I go when I go in a room, you know what I'm saying? What's the first y'all go in a room of men? That's a preference. Sure. That's a preference where it's like, oh, I would prefer this, but I'm open. Open. To okay. Because I'm about to say, I'm gonna say, I, if I went in a room with a hundred men, you know what I'm saying? I'll look to black people first. Like, mm, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? And, it's and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, the problem yeah. for where the preference argument comes from, for me anyway, was like. Oh well, I prefer this, and I won't date anything else. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what that just. I won't even look that way. No, that's just really? it. You don't know that honestly. No. You don't even know somebody. And you judge them already. Sometimes I get. I sometimes people be like, "You like this?" Because I, I, I like a little, little, little white in my life. You know, I like a little white, a little, little white boy, or whatever. But I sometimes I get bashed from like some of my friends and stuff. They ain't my real friends, but. Sometimes I get bashed for that because it's like, duh, why would you want to date a white boy? They weird or whatever. But but see, that's what I'm saying. Society can mm -hmm. put that, because imagine if that's who you all around and that's all you hear. Imagine if your sisters, all that's all we said. No matter how, no matter how much of a connection you have with somebody, your it's your so heart will head. not let you really fully give yourself mm -hmm. to that person because you like, well, he is kind of weird and yeah, his parents could be racist and what if we go somewhere and they try to kill me because we get out? You know what I'm saying? But I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, white people. I know this might sound a little racist, but they do scare me just a little bit. But that's because I'm at media. Because every time I see like an interracial relationship in the media. It's like, um, oh, he killed the whole family. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what that, that is for me, like, but I know that, and I won't let that be the reason I won't, but in my head, I'm just like, I'm but that, that's true for yeah. everybody. Anyway. And then, that, but that's another thing, too, because a lot, that, the, they'll put stuff in the world that scare you, like, we was watching the show, John, and it was just like a, mm -hmm. it was like a, this woman fell in love with this man, and that's what, like, my whole thing is, there's flags and there's signs to some mm -hmm. stuff. Sure. So when um, it was a story about this young lady who had got like stabbed by her boyfriend, he was in the um, gym with her, followed her out to the car. But when she talks about their relationship, she t she had mentioned like, oh yeah, he started being possessive, you know. And you know, you start noticing stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why I feel like being aware of your standards and what you believe in, and being okay to leave stuff behind when it's just not enough. Because sometimes people need space and breaks. And if it's meant to be, you'll make it, you know, work it out. But that crazy stuff, you see little, you see little signs. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You walk in the room, he's snapping squirrels next. It's time to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? Or the Girls. moment he raises his hand to you, it's time yeah, to or, go. Or it's, it's yeah. little stuff. People yeah, will, you gotta, people will test the, mm -hmm. the limits. You can, okay. And that's why it's, it's always good to know what's the right questions to ask somebody when you're trying to get to know them. Oh, what's your favorite color? Hey, if you walked in a room with a black woman and a light skinned woman that look just like each other, who are you walking to first? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we, you know what I'm saying? If I had a twin sister, we the same, we both attract to you, we both say you could pick, we not gonna be mad, we go, you gonna be happy ever after, mm -hmm. who are you gonna go to? You know what I'm saying? And is it, and why did you go to that person? Like, is it because, oh, the lighter skin, if we just gonna have cute babies? Like, or, or, is, <laughs> or is, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't know what y'all babies gonna yeah. look like. Y'all babies can literally look like y'all great, great grandparents because that's just how the yeah. body and genes work. Like that is a, and I really don't understand that because me personally, I I think darker complexions are so pretty. Like, cause for that's maybe it's because my sisters are more a little darker than me, but mm -hmm. maybe that's why. But I just think they're so pretty, and I I don't know, I just don't understand. Like mm -hmm. I don't understand. Honestly, I am cute with this, but my <laughs> sure. is the day. Y'all pretty too, but you know, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, all right. Everybody, I feel like everybody, y'all beautiful in y'all own way. But I, I just, yeah, to somebody. Yeah, and I just, mm -hmm. I just believe everybody should be open. You just, I feel like being closed minded can really block your blessings. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's like, a, oh, I'm not gonna take that job. But y'all will go, you know what I'm saying? You, it's like a, I'm not gonna, but you got a lot of black people that's, I will date them, but you're not gonna work for a black person. I work for a white company, they more professional than that. Versus I'm open. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, can I yeah. get a discount? Like, yeah, like, did you go to the best buy Yes, cash, side note before we end the video, I just wanna say, you can't be one of the people talking about you want to support black people and you love black people. But when black people before coronavirus was up and popping, nobody was supporting them. Now it's let's support black businesses. Why do we have to get to the bottom of the, of, why does things have to get so bad that people are stuck in their house watching TV mm -hmm. for us to support the other person? Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like 
I just feel like you can't keep putting your personal preferences and other people's fears inside of you so that way that's stopping you from making the decisions and that plays a big role into your love life into your friendships like oh well if i hang out with white girls then all my friends gonna think i'm one of them prissy like i'm i'm that black girl who wants to be white no i hang out with this one i hang out with this girl she lit and she just happened to be white that don't got nothing to do with me like she's chill like, I don't know. Yeah, those those I scared thought, you too. I just had a thought. We were just, we were just talking about, I know we were trying to end a video, but I know we were just talking about, like, just dating, like, with you. But, like, let's say you and your interracial partner, y'all get married, y'all have kids. Mm -hmm. Is that going to affect how you raise your, like, now I know it's going to, like, different, different races or different cultures have different values. But, I mean, like, your kids are going to come out with some melanin. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So like, let's say white and a, a black girl, like your your son, your daughters are gonna be black, mm -hmm. but he's white. Is that gonna have some type of, you know what I'm saying? Like, because mm -hmm. I mean, I, it would be it would be ignorant to be like, oh, the police, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Don't, you know, nothing's gonna happen to you. Mm -hmm. But like, you I, know what I'm saying? I think for me in the matter of race, I think I'm still gonna raise you. Like, I I be having thoughts now. I'm gonna raise my kid like this. Like, I'm gonna raise you. I'm gonna raise you. But I'm saying yeah. like. That's a part that they won't ever understand. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like uh, that's what I'm saying. saying. Like your son, if you, let's say you have a son, your son is gonna be black. Uh huh. They're gonna be a, they're, there's gonna be discrimination based off of their skin color mm -hmm. that your white or whoever oh, like. is not gonna understand or be able to teach them or tell them about. Oh, you talking about like that one movie, yes. American Son? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Precisely. I got you. I got you. Yeah, but that's why it's important to make sure you pick the right partner. But even even if you could pick a partner that runs a organization that works with Black Lives Matter, that's still not going to be something that a firsthand experience that they're not going to be able to be like, oh yeah, you. I mean, I can tell you. Wait, 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 I'm confused. So you saying for your partner that he won't understand and cause problems for y'all, or that no matter how like you try to explain it to him, he won't get it. I mean, you can. I mean, you can try to understand and like you can empathize, but it's, that's something that's that'll probably never happen. To you. He'll never experience. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I'm sure like. There are, there are white lawyers who are like, this is what you should do with the police, but they're still not going to be able to be like, oh, I've been in your shoes. Right. This is what you need to do. This is how I, I, I understand. You can't like, do it. I understand. Yeah, like, I understand. They're never going to have yeah. that PTSD type mm -hmm. of thing that, like, if I get pulled over, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. even if it's like, it's just a person saying you got the best cop in the world, not racist, no nothing, but you still get, like, a little bit of anxiety. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Oh and mm -hmm. that's not just a, like, that's, that's, you know, that's a real thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not even with black people. It, it's with other races. I know, but majority. Yeah. You know, if you're dark enough, you know, but. Yeah, yeah you are. Oh, me, I have sure. I still think I have PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm dead. But that's real. That's real. Yeah, like every time. You automatically, even if you don't do anything wrong, but like even before that, that event happened where it was like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. but you still like. Well, what's wrong? Well, what, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you don't even you don't even do nothing. Yeah, like we got we when we got pulled over yeah. when we were moving. Precisely. They are they pulled us over. Precisely. There was a whole bunch of kids in the cars and we were still scared. Like, oh my god, please don't yeah. shoot my daddy. And we was in the south. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's a lot of components that like, play a big role into like how black men, black women, the black culture. I can't speak for nobody else's culture because that's not my culture. Mm -hmm. So. You know, for anybody watching the video, that's like, well, how, you guys always talk about that's because that's what we are. So that's what we are. We're talking about our personal experience, things that we personally seen. Um, we're not doctors. We don't have PhDs. We're not. I mean, we 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 can be one day, girl. Yes, we can be anything that you want to be. But we just, you know, you know, speaking about our personal experiences and our personal opinions and just how they affect us and other people. And so. Let us know if we missed yeah. anything, like any points that y'all thought of. That yeah. What's your opinion? Yeah, people have different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Because you got some people who, like, I, I don't, I don't have no pullover stories. Like, like I got pulled over in an Uber. I did. The too. driver was black. It was me and Tay. And Tay is a big old little. He's a little darker, and he like. He one of those who he be acting slow sometimes. He so. would fit that big black mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's and it scares me every time and you know y'all know Ted. It scares me every time thinking of him he like has driving a, by he has a social disconnect. He don't mm -hmm. he don't get up on cues like that. Mm -hmm. So he'd be like, What? Yeah, that ain't the right attitude to have yeah, right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so special. Ooh. Definitely, definitely. 
So comment down below any topics that y'all would like us to discuss. Like this, this is a free, no judgment zone couch. We we gonna no tell it how it is. You know what I'm saying? We gonna try to watch our language. You know what I'm saying? In case your grandma and your mama in there, mm -hmm. but we gonna speak to you. But that's what we do. <laughs> and you know, we love you guys, and we're so thankful that you guys are here. And stay tuned for the um our we should our other episodes. You know, for the sipping sisters, and we're out. Yeah, <laughs> we're out.